welcome back to my channel today i'm doing the clean girl aesthetic i have been doing this look for literally the past like two months i can't be asked to do anything else i am so excited to share this routine with you guys i found the best products that work for me for my clean girl makeup routine and i hope that you guys get some inspiration from it and it's going to be an in-depth tutorial i'll show you guys also two products drugstore high-end giving you guys options if you guys want to see the video, the tutorial, then please keep on watching. First, we're gonna start with skin prep as that is the most important part of the clean girl makeup look. First, we're gonna start with the Jello Beauty, the JLo Glow Serum. I really have been liking this serum. It's supposed to tighten and brighten the skin. I also like to apply this serum on my neck. Makes your skin looks just so nice and fresh and just rejuvenated and just amazing. Up next, we have to cover the pores. So I'm taking my favorite Pore Minimizer from Professional, it is the light primer. Take it amount like this, work it in my fingers, and then just like, almost like pat it and drag. And the areas where my pores are more visible. Up next, you're gonna go with a Power Grip Primer or Hydro Grip Primer. This is the Milk, this is the Elf, the two. They work the same for me, and they're different price points, so I'll link them both for you guys. Today, I'm gonna go with the Hydro Grip Primer because it's honestly just like the OG. It's so good, but I also love my Elf. And then with this product, I like to also like pat it into the skin. I don't want to disrupt any other product that we have applied. Now for that glowy clean girl look, you're gonna go in with a glowy primer. Here is an honest beauty one. It's the Everything Primer Glow. Or you can go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Primer. This one gives you a little bit more coverage. This one just gives you more of a glowy face. So I'm gonna go with the Charlotte Tilbury one because it's one of my favorites. I am the shade for medium. You can go in with darker shades. So for like contouring and bronzing up, so I am gonna pick up other ones, but you guys are gonna see how amazing this covers just on one side of the face. Some girls are able to just go and do this, and that's it, but I also like me a little bit more coverage. I'm taking this Refi brush, it is amazing. Stippling brush on one, and, and then like a regular hair brush. It's like a multitasker brush, so I'm applying it on one side of my face, so you guys can see how beautiful and glowy the skin looks. Now what we're gonna do is set everything in. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Stay Spray. It's actually one of my favorite ones ever. I think I'm actually gonna do like a drugstore clean girl look as I happen to have a lot of dupes for it. So I'll do that on next for you guys. So I'm taking my Rider Dye, my Anastasia Brow Freeze. It is so good to just get the brows done, give it like a feathered clean look. Past yours on YouTube, you guys can see my brow transformation. Over plucked them when I was younger. I mean, who hasn't? And I knew nothing about makeup. I feel like they're in pretty good shape. Wait until you see when I brush them up. I have just been like letting them grow, applying castor oil at night, and I have been laminating my brows, which has really helped to map them out and shape them. And it makes them look a lot more fuller once you like brush your eyebrows upward like this. Honestly, it's such a big step into my makeup routine lately. Look at this brow compared to this brow. I have been loving my Glossier Brow Pens in the shade <laughs> brown, shade brown. All you want to do is apply light strokes to the areas where you're missing hair with like a little bit more. So right here in the front, you guys should see how that covers everything. I almost turn it on its side and press it down as well if I don't want to do like the brow flicks, like the hair stroke. And there you have it. The brow is completely done. I didn't even touch the front. so. Very, very convenient and also very, very fast. Makeup Ariel Morphe brushes. One of the best brush collabs, brushes I've ever, ever tried. I'll link the whole collection below for you guys. It's literally all I use. I need to do like a staples brushes because I just been once. So taking the Makeup Ariel Morphe A19, taking the flatter side of it. And I'm going to cover my eyebrows using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium to Ginger. Covering them out just makes the extra difference for me and it gives it more of a clean look and then lightly. I'll go over the top with whatever is left on my brush with the concealer. Hey guys, I'm going to be taking this Dior palette, the Backstage Eye Palette with the Amber Neutrals. I didn't even know this shade right here was like a cream shade, like an eye primer. I thought it was like a regular matte eyeshadow, but... You guys see that it adds like extra coverage to the eyelid and then just preps it with a nice creamy formula for any eyeshadows that you want to apply. 
I am truly, truly obsessed. I'll forever be obsessed with my Makeup Mario Master Mattes eyeshadow palette. Honestly, probably one of the best matte eyeshadow palettes that I've ever tried. So we're going to do some the eyes today. Something really nice, easy, and simple. I'm going to be taking this mustardy light shade right here. Along with this light brown color. On the Morphe Ariel buffing brush. And I'm going to start in the outer corner of the eye with very light pressure. Just run those two colors all over the crease. Almost like a topping motion. And then buffing out. We want to make it look super super seamless i'm taking this darker mustardy color i'm gonna apply that all over the lid and i'm sure you guys can do this with any matte eyeshadows that you want i just think this palette's a really really good investment to just having like all mattes in one place the undertones are just so so good taking this laurie los angeles angled brush i'm gonna be taking the darkest brown right here we're gonna create a really small tiny wing make the wing going outwards instead of upwards because we want more of that like like what's it called siren eyes more cat eye natural look i am going to be taking this mars climax eyeliner it is so good i've had it in my collection for a long time didn't even realize how amazing it was and all we're doing is just striking it up the upper lash line and i'm taking my micellar water from garnier and the angle brush from makeup ariel and what you want to do is use this to clean up your eyeshadow or any mistakes you have made along the way instead of going with concealer and adding more product for mascara i really have been loving my chanel Le volume stretch mascara really good if you are not if you're trying to do the clean girl with no lashes but you guys know me i cannot live without falsies this mascara is literally so good i love it so let's go ahead and put on our falsies time to apply our lashes we have my favorite ones from the drugstore honestly guys they're unreal. It makes you like you have falsies on and it just like makes the eye look so pretty and so effortless. I always like to follow the pattern or the shape along the eyeliner so that it goes up with it and it gives you more of that like sexier eye look, more elongated and like a butterfly effect where it just like fans up, kind of fans straight to the side. Two options you can go with a foundation that's very light, the Armani Luminous Silk or more of a tinted foundation which i really love as well i've had this for a minute so it's really really good for a little bit more coverage but this one is more for like that clean girl more like everyday daytime tint foundation so let's put on this one something that i never thought i would do was apply products in my face with my fingers but something about it guys just i don't know it just sits right oh it's such a good product i feel like when it comes with like tint foundations and bb creams working into the skin Kind of gives it a better effect than going in straight with like a brush or a blender kind of just really like gets it in there as you can see it has really nice pretty coverage i cannot live without my makeup eraser it's what i used to film with and kind of like just clean up because it removes all the makeup from your hands literally nothing here i feel like if you just go straight in blending a tinted moisturizer it kind of gives it a streaky look but if you kind of warm it up with your hands, it just gives it such a nice flawless look. It is such a good tinted moisturizer. I'm very picky with them because typically they're just too sheer for me. But this one is just stunning. So with concealer, I like to do a little bit of a mixture. I like to go in with my NARS in the inner corner. It's a little bit more of a thicker consistency and it just like covers our circles and it kind of just like makes everything look super nice and smooth and then for a little more coverage the dior concealer guys it's amazing i'll do like one swipe i still want it to look more creamier and like brighter now the key is to let the concealer sit here for a little bit my newest obsession is the charlotte tilbury cream bronzer holy bronzers like this stuff is so good mine is all dinged up and this brush that it comes with just look at how beautiful the bronzer is it's so seamless and just like such a juicy creamy bronzer i am in the shade to medium it is very very creamy though so i feel like it has to be set i did apply it on my neck ones and they gave me like neck creases but honestly i have not put it down since the second that i got it 
really pressing it into the inner corner and then slowly drag it out but not over the bronzer now the key is to set the makeup as well i i'm just not the girly that can go with creams all day it's not my vibe taking my Givenchy loose powder the pink one I haven't talked about it here on my channel if you guys follow me on instagram or tiktok you know i'm all over it pat the puff on the palm of your hand and what you want to do is just like lightly press it into the skin especially around the nose area and whatever is left over press it directly under the nose chin and then the forehead leaving the cheeks a little bit more bare so i kind of set it around the cheekbone and that's it that's the only powder that i'm going to use on our face fine cream blush and cream highlighter we're going to go with the tarte setting spray again to kind of just melt that powder into the skin now we have a really nice looking fresh complexion i feel like the key to clean girl aesthetic is mainly like cream products and making the skin look its best in a natural way taking the laura mercier tinted moisturizer blush tried this the other day and i was obsessed just with the color and the wear of it insane so i like to apply the creams maybe in the back of my hand like this and then i'm taking one of my favorite cream brushes the fenty one two five face and then i like to start working the blush on the back side of my cheekbone instead of starting at the apples of my cheeks and going back i like to almost work like backwards look at how stunning that blush is whatever's left you want to just tap a little bit top of your nose maybe your chin it is summer so i feel like that's really cute and then again if you feel like you can go over it real quick with your puff you have all this creaminess going on i take a little bit of powder in the tip of the sponge and clean up right here. Now we're going to go with cream highlighter, one of my favorite products as well. Here we have the Chanel Le Base highlighter, which I've used for like over a year now, you guys know that. Another option is a Rare Beauty one. This one dries a little bit quicker. This is more creamier and like liquidy. These are two options. One's more like golden pink, like a rose gold. One's more like straight gold. So I'm going to go with the rose gold one today. Another good option that I love. Put it in the back of my hand and almost mixing it with the blush like this oh my god it just blends so beautiful taking the damn sponge cannot live without my sponge we're going to just press that right on top of the blush like that nose boom perfect i believe the key to making cream products last especially for me i have dry skin it's almost setting them not too much but like a little bit so that's what we're going to be doing I'm gonna be taking my airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been loving to apply my bronzer with a fan brush. I'm just gonna tap it and work the bronzer towards the perimeter. I'm oh, sorry, what? Outward. <laughs> just a little chisel, chisel. A little bit, one, two, one, two on the nose. And I really like to focus this on the jawline. And then again, we're gonna lightly set the blush and highlighter. You see one of my favorite blush palettes at the moment from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I like to just mix whatever blushes I'm feeling at the moment on her L23 brush and just lightly tap in her highlighter brush going with the Golden Haze highlighter and then again lightly tapping it I've also noticed like the lips for Clean Girl Aesthetic most of the times it's more like bright colors, bright tinted balms, bright little glosses so I'm gonna do a little bit of a... I'm gonna do a little combo that I have been obsessed over and it lasts literally all day. All right guys, here is the lip combo. Rare Beauty in the shade Gifted. It's like a brownish red color. And then we have this like lip balm lipstick from YSL. No one's talking about it. It's so overrated, I absolutely love it. It is such a creamy lip liner guys that lasts literally all day. I've been truly obsessed with Rare Beauty. It's a healthy obsession at this point. This YSL lipstick. Actually, I do have a code for the lipstick. Um, from Farfetch. They have Farfetch Beauty now and they have amazing like designer makeup and you guys can use my code Valeria to save some coin. Guys, look at this. Like, what is this? I don't know. And then my last little trick to making the clean girl makeup look last all day. It's the one size, one till, until dawn, mattifying waterproof setting spray. This will mattify your face really, really quick. But if you just do like a little one, two, Guys, the glow, the cream products will not move around, even though it is mattifying, it just really like does a good job at like holding everything in, basically like hairspray for your face. 
10 out of 10. I bought the sample size. I'm gonna get the bigger one. That's it. All right, girlies, this right here completes my clean girl makeup. I have been doing this literally almost every day this summer, but I'm okay with it. It just feels so nice to have hair off your face, nice, fresh, clean glam, makeup that makes you feel good, makes you feel the best self. Also, clean girl hoops. You gotta have the accessories to go with it. But I hope that you guys got some insight from this tutorial, get to try out some new products. I will have all the products that I used to mention listed down below, along with their links, discount codes, all the good stuff. Don't forget to follow me on... I was gonna say Snapchat. Somebody take my channel away. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. That is it. That is it for this little tutorial. I love you guys so much. Muchos besitos y abrazos. Bye guys.